The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. Abraham Lincoln, November 19, 1863, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that the nation might live. 930 miles away, with hundreds of thousands of gallons of water per second, the mighty Mississippi moves past Memphis with a force scarcely matched in the natural world. History cannot consecrate the resting place of the soldiers who died with the Sultana. The swift waters carry now only their haunting memory. Gettysburg, Chickamauga, Antietam, Shiloh, Chancellorsville, Fredericksburg. The stories of these great battles live in the pages of history, while the tale of the Sultana, with its pain and suffering and loss, ebbs with the current and flows from the conscience of a country. No cannon fire, no musket balls or bayonets distinguish the passage of their lives. With waterlogged uniforms flailing and frigid muffled screams, these American warriors slipped beneath the tide, pitiless, drifting quietly into the night. They mustered and trained. They marched and fought. They were captured ignominiously in battle. They languished in camps far from home. No purple hearts were rendered, no bugles played. Only the light from the setting sun or a pale moon ray dancing on the water pay a fitting tribute. Without judgment or shame, the rising and falling tide of America's great river beckons a nation to honor the sacrifice of all her native souls. Among the shattered lives and broken promises, in the days immediately following the close of war, the U.S. Army suffered another major defeat. From the time of the French and Indian War, a simple precept defined the American warrior ethos, leave no man behind. But for the fighting men, recklessly overloaded like so many cattle onto a vessel clearly ill-suited to the task, the officers in command of over 1,800 men in their charge most assuredly left their men behind. Many of those souls were never returned home. Many of their families left to wonder. No telegram from a war department. No 21-gun salute. For what does it profit a man to lose not at the tip of a spear, but discarded and forgotten? Does the tomb of the unknown soldier speak for them? Do the people care to know? Remember the Sultana.